from the hollers and hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Boo! Yeah. Alright guys, thank you for joining us today right here in the hollers and hills of West Virginia. My name is Ryan and guys, we're getting ready to do something that I think is pretty cool for the winter time. So, our friends, our really good friends, uh, bought my wife this little vase looking thing, right? It's tiny, okay? I mean, it's super, super tiny. Um, if that gives you any kind of you know, size comparison there, right? It's pretty tiny. Um, in fact, it only holds two of these little rocks. Anyways, as soon as I seen it that night, because I didn't know they had got it for her, and I seen it later on that, that evening after they had left, I said, what is that? You know, I'm looking at it and everything. I'm like, it's really cool, you know? And she's like, oh, you know, Jen got that for me. And I'm like, hmm, what are you going to do with it? I'm just going to leave it up there sitting because it's pretty, and it is very pretty. I don't know, it's made out of some kind of rock, like tiger's eye or something. It's really, really pretty and very nice. Anyhow, I looked at it and I'm like, you know what I want to do? I want to grow something in that. I just want to try it. You know, I don't know how well it'll do, but I mean, it's a pretty big cavity in there. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's it is that big around, okay? So, see how big around that is. I mean, it's, it's that big around, okay? Uh, so that's a pretty good, decent size. It's, it's pretty, pretty good size in there. And so that's what this little video is going to be about. It's going to be about us starting something in there. Got all these peppers to choose from, and I'm going to replant some of them that did not come up. I'm going to plant some more in and, and stuff. And then we've got to try to transplant these things tomorrow, like bad. Um, so we'll have to work on that. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to do this right here. And so... I got three rocks, and it'll hold three rocks in there, no problem. Okay, there's the three rocks in there. All right, you can kind of wiggle them around there and, and get them in position. Yeah, you know, but we don't want we don't want them to be in there and not be able to come back out. So there we go. Oh, can you grab it for me? Thank you. So, anyways, um, two rocks is just right. Okay, and the only reason why we're gonna put those rocks in there, give it a little bit of space. All right, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty yeah. dark in there. Hey, can you go get Daddy a flashlight? Yeah. Go get Daddy a flashlight. A flashlight? Yes, sir, flashlight. Okay. So, anyway, I'm going to get a flashlight. Let's just in there. But all that's going to do is give us a, a little bit of space where water and air can flow. Because if you put all dirt in there and, and there's no drain holes in here, then the roots would end up rotting. And what we want to do, we just want to be able to put a dropper, literally a dropper full of water in here like every other day. That's all we want. Just enough to keep the, the roots moist. Yep, yeah, oh no, that one don't have the battery to it. Bring me one, another, different, a different kind. Anyways, um, we just want to be able to put that little dropper full of water in there and let that moisten the roots. We're going to put a little bit of dirt on the top layer just to help kind of keep the moisture in and keep those roots moist. That way they don't get dried out. But the entire cavity pretty much is just going to be empty and, and these rocks are just going to allow for the roots to be able to grow and stuff. They also hold air in them as well. So it's, it, it, it's be good. It's a tiny little thing. I don't know that anybody's grown a plant in something this small yet. I do know they've grown them in cans, like pop cans and stuff like that. Good job, buddy. Thank you, my hype man. You're welcome. Um, thank you too, honey. You can see in there, 
there's not a lot of room, right? And yeah, I could fit another rock in there, but like I say, you don't want it to get to where you can't, you can't, you know, uh, get them out, you know? So anyhow, there's that. We're gonna move them around just to where they fill up good, right there like that. And it's kind of like side by side and there's, so they look good like that. Now we're just kind of gonna go over like what varieties we have, you know, what do we think would do really well? Some of these varieties, like your sweet peppers, are not going to do good in this. And here's why. Sweet pepper plants get really big. Uh, a lot of these plants get really big, but sweet pepper plants are heavy stemmed. Uh, they're, they're very, very big stalks and stems and limbs. And so I don't think that those are going to be a, a viable option for us. And so we want to try to pick something that we think will be. So we have Thai dragons, and I did think Thai dragon might be pretty good. Um, it's a little bit of a daintier plant as far as, you know, the stem, the main stem. It does come up. Now, it will get so many peppers on there that the peppers will actually he get heavy and break the break the stalks and stems. I've had that happen. Hey, calm down. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know that we want to go that route. Maybe something a little bit different, right? So I'm looking. And, you know, we got sweet banana. That won't work. Another heavy plant won't work. Um, over here, we've got the Jimmy Nord Nordellas and the Ahi uh, Lemon Drop, uh, Reaper, Cross, the White Fantasy. None of those came up, so we got to replant those. Don't want any of them out of there. On this side, we have Yellow Brain Strain, Chocolate Brain Strain, and Scotch Brain 7 Pot Primo. Uh, we have plants of each one of those. Yep, 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 yep. Got each one of those got plants. Um, on this side, we have Yellow Scotch Bonnet, Bishop's Crown, and Cherry Bomb, okay? Um, cherry Bomb would be an excellent choice for that, and we've got, actually, we've got two Cherry Bomb plants there. One of them's pretty big-sized, and one of them's just taken off. Let me see if I can get this plant unraveled from the other one there. Yeah, you're a good boy. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent-sized plant, and this right here is pretty small, so that one right there might be one. We may do the Cherry Bomb. Let's see. Uh... This one right here is a red tie, a primo golden, uh, prima tali golden, a yellow seven primo. I've got two of each of those. Uh, this is a Dracula, which I do not want to plant there. Um, and it's eight up with them stinking bugs, which I need to spray again. Uh, if you know any good way to get rid of aphids, I've done tried alcohol, I've done tried peroxide, I've done tried permethrin i've done tried uh neem oil i've done tried other stuff can't even think of all the stuff i've tried i've tried a lot um i do have the monterey um soil drench coming and that i do know will take care of them but you can't eat nothing off of the plants for seven days and i really don't like using that on the plants um anyways we've got the etuda that won't work because it's a sweet pepper and then we had these uh Haber reapers that did not come up for some reason, which is very odd because the Haber Reaper last year came up just fine. Um, don't think we want any of those just yet. Let's see what we got here. We have Ahi Mango. We have Orange Spice Jalapeno. Habanada. Uh, the Habanada might, uh, yeah, might work. Uh, Ahi Mango again. And, you know, same thing. Habanada and, uh, and the Orange Spice Jalapeno and Ahi Mango. Um, here we have a fish. We have the yellow monster, which will not work. We have the phileus blue, and the same thing, phileus blue, yellow monster, and the fish. So we don't want those just yet. Where are we going with this? Here we go. Hey, no, here you go. Goofy things. I need to get some wind blowing in that greenhouse to sturdy up these plants. They're, they're too limber. Y'all hear that? Yeah, it's snowing. Let's get deep, deep outside. Anyways. Here we have the Anaheim, the Bueno Mulata, which may work because the Bueno Mulata is a lot like the Thai Dragon. Uh, we have the Big Jim, which will not work. That's a huge pepper. Um, then we have the Peach Ghosts, the Peach Reaper, and the Peach Sugar Rush. Uh, the Peach Ghost or the Peach Reaper get pretty big size. The Peach Sugar Rush doesn't get so big, so it may, I mean, they can get big. It just, you know, some of these would not thrive in this, and some of them don't matter how small the pot is um we have a yellow buquino which they okay we got some of those that come up but then we got a whole nother set that did not come up we do have yellow buquinos which may be my go-to with this 
We have a jigsaw, a mini bell, a mini bell, and a jigsaw again. So I'm going to put those right here because I'm thinking about those yellow pequinos. I think those would be a pretty good uh, deal. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got the uh, carbonara, or excuse me, the carbon carbonero, the C -N CGN 21500, which only one of those plants come up. And uh, then we have a purple ghost, which none of those came up at all, which I'm surprised. A Thunder Mountain Longhorn, which none of those came up. Bolivian Rainbow, which one of those came up. And Park Mark Orange, which all four of those came up. All right. I don't think we want any of those because I need that CGN. Uh, then we've got the Lemon Dream, the Sweet Long Pepper, Sweet Chocolate Pepper, uh, the Peradiscum Aluku Sargasense Pepper, uh, the uh, Ash County Pimento Pepper, and then we have the Lachey pepper, which I love the Lachey's. Uh, and then here we have Red Ghost, Chocolate Scorpion, uh, the um, uh, Mexican Pequin with a cross of Pequitos, which we have two of those that did come up. Cool. None of the Chocolate Scorpions came up, though, which is odd. Uh, Carolina Reaper. Um, four regular Carolina Reapers. We got one Peter Pepper and two three four red habanero peppers that came up right there i mean look at these roots guys they're 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 like ready to go <laughs> uh these right here are poblanos salsa blend lemon drop um mild jalapeno pumpkin spice jalapeno early jalapeno we do not want any jalapenos so what do we want to do here What did I say I want to do? Chocolate. Oh. Uh, let's go with one of these yellow Pequinos here. So, we're going to remove. Actually, I actually want to show y'all how we remove this. So this, you put your finger, put your finger right here, like so. There's a center hole there, and you push up. Look how nice that comes out of there. Isn't that beautiful? There it is. And it's going to fall apart on me, which is fine because I need I need it to kind of fall apart there. All right, there we go. And I'm going to kind of take this dirt and shake it off in my hands here a little bit. Just like so. I'm going to drop this in here like that. Right there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of dirt up here on the top. Just to, just to keep it in place there. I'm going to put this one back down in the hole there a little bit. Kind of get it centered up. I'm going to take a little bit of this, rake it off into my hand here. So my wife doesn't kill me for making a mess. Continue to work on this a little bit here. So just kind of, I'm not packing it. Don't pack it down. Just put a little bit in, just like so. Okay. Just want to put a little bit in there. All you're doing is 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 you want to leave that airflow there, and then you know you want to make sure that. Um, that it's not that the air is going to be able to stay around those rocks at the bottom that the roots will be able to fill that area in and this will be like a bonsai essentially okay um, that's really what we're going for there so uh honey could you give me a dropper please um so now there we go we got it all set up it's our little plant and this is a um, yellow pequino so uh, that's that's what we're going to grow in here and uh i'm gonna set it in there with the rest of them and everything's gonna grow. Uh, can you fill me up a, a little bit of water in there, Kira? <coughs> it's okay, not okay. So, That's okay. I just popped about 15 of them. Them little vermin, I hate them. You can sit here and do this every day, all day long to stuff and I don't think it would matter. That's how bad they are, but they got something coming. You wait till that crap gets here. All right, so 
dropper. This is what I mean by a dropper. You literally are going to drop the water in just a little bit. You don't want to pour it in. You just want to drop it in. Okay. And that's it. Literally like 2 ml. That's all that went in there. All right. And let's put one more ml. We'll go 3 ml. All right. And that's all we want. And you want to monitor the plant. Look at it. See how it does over the next few days. Yes, I want to help. If it's not, you know, looking good or whatever, give it more water. Just, you're going to have to watch the plant very carefully over the next few days. Eventually, what's going to happen is the roots will completely take over inside of that little vase there. And you'll have to water it every day because the roots are just going to be growing, you know, growing so much. You have to water it every day, okay? And, uh, but I would not water more than six milliliters a day in this because you're, if you get too much in there, you're going to have a problem with air and, and, and you're gonna have a problem with uh, being able to dry those roots off fast enough and then you're gonna rot it and then your plant will die, okay? And the only way you're gonna be able to do it is to reset it and probably you ain't gonna be able to reset it without killing it because it's gonna have the roots that are grown in the porous rock, wherever that porous rock, here it is, porous rock right so that rock's got it's volcanic rock it's very very airy and light and so that's why we wanted it you know keep the air and stuff in there as well but the roots grow into that and, and, and so if you have to take it apart you're just going to rip the roots and everything up so there it is right there we're going to see how big this can get who thinks down in the comments below who thinks that this will produce a single pepper at least a single pepper who believes that we're going to get a pepper off of this anybody comment down below if you think we'll get a pepper or not i'm curious to see what you all think what do you think about growing like this do you think it's fun you think you know it's a cool little experiment what do you think you know um you want to try something like this you know tell me your thoughts down below about that as well so guys we're going to get out of here and we're going to uh, go back through all these plants and we're going to replant what didn't come up and get them ready to come up because guys, we've got a pepper tree to make for a world record in 2023. So let's see how many peppers I can get there. I've also got some peppers uh, on the way and I got some more peppers that I'm gonna have to buy to be able to get this pepper tree up and running. I gotta get me a big tree started. I've already got several of them going here that are going to be able to do that for me. And we'll just start plugging in where I can, right? And uh, grafting and turning that tree into a pepper tree. So see what we have in store for 2023. Guys, we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. See ya. Don't Boom. forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. <laughs> Don't get this Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get that tree. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.